A curious wolf stumbled upon an intact human skin. Intrigued, he leaned in to sniff it and then stuck his head inside. The skin's hands and feet were propped up, and a furry little muzzle emerged, followed by a slow sit-up. After a few twists of the neck, the human skin feet perfectly on the wolf. A passerby, out for a morning jog, witnessed the wolf mimicking bipedal movements and unsteadily stepping out of the forest, clearly unaccustomed to walking onto legs. It was, after all, the wolf's first time being a human. Just as it entered the road, the wolf narrowly avoided being hit by a car. Cute dog sniffed out the wolf's scent and bared its teeth, barking ferociously, not wanting to ruin its new disguise. The wolf gave the dog a way out and let it pass unharmed. The curious wolf arrived at the entrance of a company building, observing the two-legged creatures inside wearing similar clothes. Surrounded by people busy filling out forms, it took out a pen and tried to mimic the others by filling out the form in a seemingly professional manner. Unexpectedly, the wolf was successfully hired and with its wolf-like spirit, even gained the appreciation of the company's CEO, leading to promotions and salary raises, reaching the pinnacle of its human life. With its newfound wealth, the wolf purchased a villa in the suburbs. Sightedly, the wolf thought about rolling around on the ground in sheer joy. Noticing that nobody was paying attention, he joyfully ran on all fours through the grass, startling the nearby laborers. The wolf, pretending as if nothing had happened, he stood up nonchalantly, waved his hand, and signaled the workers to continue with their tasks. The wolf now had his own private office. Whenever he saw a painting on the wall, he couldn't help but salivate. Despite his increasingly affluent lifestyle, he even married a beautiful wife. But looking at the array of exquisite food on the table, the wolf had no appetite. It was only when he saw a friend holding a small dog that his appetite was instantly awakened. It was that feeling, sinking his teeth into living food, as warm blood burst in his mouth. The rot home a little cat, needing no seasoning, relishing the authentic flavor, closing the garage door. He intended to indulge in his feast. The unsuspecting kitty continued to gaze at him, unaware of the impending danger. Just as he was about to take a bite, the garage door suddenly swung open. His daughter thought it was a gift from her father. In order to conceal his identity, the wolf could only continue to endure his hunger. Every day, as he looked at the deer in the portrait on his office wall, it was a torment for the wolf. He could only watch his kind prey on television at night. I can't control my urges much longer. I can't control my hunger much longer. His wife shyly suggested waiting until their child was asleep, perhaps due to his extreme hunger. The wolf even began to hallucinate. The company's presentation slides seemed to transform into images of his companions hunting for prey. He stared at his golden-haired colleague's neck. Then able to resist any longer, he pounced on his colleague's neck. No one was left unfounded by the gruesome sight. The man turned abruptly, revealing his blood-soaked wolf's mouth, exposing his true identity. His colleagues chased after him, and he ran all the way back home, wanting to speak. But his wolf claws were now exposed. His wife was startled and didn't recognize the monster before her, her own husband. The wolf tried to explain, but in the fearful case of his wife, he tore off the human skin from his body, revealing his original form. However, he was chased away by his wife, whilst and his subordinates pursued him, running towards the direction of the forest. But when they arrived, the warrior no longer existed, trapped and lost. The wolf stood in the middle of the road, unsure of what to do. Suddenly, a car came speeding by and struck him, ending his life. The relieved onlookers let out a sigh of relief. Chow the wolf's lifeless body was collected by the sanitation workers and taken away in a garbage truck. 